In this video, I'm going to show you how to assign more than one material to a single part in Keyshot. This was my first time really exploring with the Keyshot interface, but because it's already linked to Solid Edge, it's a good opportunity to practice some rendering skills. So I'm starting off with the following assembly, which consists of four parts. And upon opening the Keyshot application through the Tools tab, you'll see an already somewhat rendered version of the model. This has the same default materials that is displayed in the modeling environment in Solid Edge. If we take a look at this interface, you'll notice there are two main panels on your left and right. On the left panel, it sort of consists of materials, colors, textures, um, background, environment, and so on. On the right side panel, you'll notice that it's more of editing, so image, lighting, environment, camera, and again, materials. Here in the Scene tab, you'll find a tree of members where I can select and toggle off and on each part. Focusing on what I like to call the card of my assembly, I hide the rest of the parts. As I begin to apply various materials to this single body part, you'll notice that any one material occupies the entire body of the part and not just a single area or face or feature. Noticing this, I exit the application and go back into the Solid Edge program. First, gain right access to the part by opening the individual part file or by right clicking on the part in an assembly and selecting edit. Now you'll define the parts of the model that have differing materials using color blocking. If you haven't done so already, under the View tab, check to see if Part Painter is disabled. If so, click on the Color Manager option and switch from using the Solid Edge option setting to use Individual Part Style setting. This will enable the Part Painter feature. Using the various options for defining color, be it body, face, or feature of the part, Begin to block out the areas that you want to appear differently. Once complete, I close the individual part editing environment and I restart the shot, the key shot application. Now this time, when I go to apply a material, it is located to one region of the part blocked out by the previously defined color. In this way, I'm able to assign two or potentially more materials to a single part. Take note that because I've assigned these two areas with the same color, the Keyshot program will now link their material. In other words, they will be assigned the same material. You can also see that in the Scene tab, the tree members for this part 
have been separated based on these two colored regions. This is a perfect way to locate faces or features that you'd like to render in the same way. That's pretty much it for this short video on key shot troubleshooting. So hopefully that helped and hopefully you enjoyed and thanks for watching.